channel. Today I have a haul for you guys. Literally, my assistant just went to collect my parcel, so I thought I would just show you guys what I bought. It's not that much because it's only from like literally one haul. So usually when I do hauls, I kind of do it like a combined. But today I only have about 10 minutes to film this video. So I'm very sorry there's not gonna be a try on. But if you follow me on my Instagram, at Bongabong, you might be able to see these outfits. Hopefully it will fit. <laughs> I don't know, this is my first time seeing it for myself. So let's get started. Just a disclaimer, I bought all these with my own money but they are not expensive and I do not like shop excessively all the time now, okay? So please pardon me. I have five clothing items from here. So the first one I bought... Oh, it's actually not that bad. I actually bought this tube top um, that looks like this. So it has like a buckle, like two buckles here and a zip that runs in the middle. It's a tube top, so hopefully it will fit. I think it will look very nice with like a high-waisted like palazzo pants or like some keloids or some skirt. And uh, it can go really like sexy with like a, you know, very nice spandex pants. Or it can go really girly with like a nice summer skirt. So I think this is not bad. The next one. Okay, I got a lot of things from the same store. So you'll see similar clothing items. Oh my god, what is this? Okay. It is actually like a toga spaghetti top, I think. So it's super cropped. It's literally this small. So from the photo, I couldn't tell that it was so cropped. But I think we will be able to make it work somehow. Like with a really, really nice high-waisted pants. But the quality of it is actually not bad. Like I would, you know, totally take the risk for something like $10, $13 and um, risk it because it might turn out really bad but I wouldn't mind a something like this and honestly I don't even remember buying all these things so it's like a surprise every time I come back <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to it as well okay I don't know what is this thing that I bought I think it's supposed to be like like it has like a asymmetrical detail but it looks way too big and it's just super stretchy so I feel that um, and the material is also quite Thin. So even though it's quite cooling and thin for the weather, I hope it actually fits but from the looks of it, I think it's actually really really big. Just look at how it is compared to my face. Like, oh my gosh, it's so big. Alright, that's kind of disappointing. Another item. I got four clothing items. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Why do I even buy this? <laughs> okay, it totally did not look like this in a photo. And uh, the colour is just really bad. It actually looked like forest green in the photos but it turned out to be a very like clown kind of green. I don't know, I look like I'm gonna sell chang beer. <laughs> right! <laughs> no offence, I like to drink chang beer but... Uh... Alright, and um, I bought a bit of lashes. It's not that much. Literally just five boxes of lashes. Um, I wanted to try out like some of their Taobao lashes because I use lashes like pretty much on a daily basis and you know they are disposable so I can only use them for like maybe 2-3 times maybe sometimes 5 times for like the even better quality ones but they're very expensive so I was just kind of on Taobao and looking for like cheap alternatives and I found like these that look like dupes from Mish Blooming. If you guys are familiar with Japanese lashes, you will know this brand called Mish Blooming and they are really quite expensive but I really like how thin and small and dainty and like very everyday wear um, they are and they are super comfortable but they cost about $4 a pair. So I saw these and the packaging is like almost exactly the same as Mish Blooming. So let's see. Looks like this. This is um, A005. Actually, the quality is pretty good and it's very soft. It does look a little bit plasticky compared to um, the real Mish Blooming ones in the sense you actually can see a little bit of like glossiness on the top. But I think it's actually pretty good. Like, I think it's a very close dupe. It's about $5 for four pairs, so that makes it like $1 a pair, um, which is steel because it's like four times cheaper than niche blooming. So this is A05. I also got N... This one is slightly shorter. So this is N12. Um, this costs $6 apparently. $6.85. So it looks like this. It's actually really short. So it's actually 
I think it would be good for everyday wear but it looks very 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 natural I quite like it so far so hopefully it will look nice I will let you guys know and update y'all and if you see it in future like you know tutorials you'll know that I truly like it another one that I grabbed from the same store it's um it looks like this it's called eyelashes Yukina I got this uh, very similar to the one that I'm wearing now so it looks you know like kind of wispy and soft and longer at the ends so this one is three pairs for how much? $5.80 so it's not the cheapest but um, the quality looks pretty decent as well I'm actually really really pleased with this all the lashes I think they're all from the same store pretty much Definitely gonna go back and I will try my best to link everything in the description box below. And here I have uh, my last box which looks like the ones that I bought from Bangkok, you know, recently. Uh, I just wanted to try my luck and see if I can find like, an alternative online. So these are 4 bucks which is around the same as um, Bangkok price, you know, at Platinum Mall. And um, they are the really really dramatic, wispy, mink looking lashes. They are not mink, but um, they look like they are. So they are super dramatic, gives you lots of volume. And at the same time, um, I think these lashes are very similar to like, you know, those Huda Beauty kind of styles if you're into that kind of makeup. But you can only use it for like once or twice max because the quality of the band is really shit. So all the lashes will just start falling out once you try to remove the glue. And oh, I have one more. This one. It's a lot more Japanese. Um, it looks like this. So these are a lot more like dramatic, you know, because they come in clusters and they're mostly clustered in the middle. And when I choose lashes, I kind of go for a few distinctive styles. One is like, you know, the super natural kind all around. One of it is less longer at the sides and it kind of gives you like a more lifted cat eye kind of look. Another kind would be more longer in the middle and that would give you a more rounded, cuter kind of eye shape. So this is um, G520 and I think it's not too bad. The quality of it is slightly plasticky but um, can't really complain. It's $5.89. Hmm, cheap. Alright, last but not least, I got myself a box. Can I get it? Oh, it's a free gift! No, yeah! No. <laughs> you see, I forget the things that I buy, okay? Anyway, this was a free gift from the shop, so thank you so much! Um, this will come in really handy, especially if you're like me and you travel with a lot of false lashes because you can't really like crush them, so it's better to have a box that kind of like, you know, helps you store them nicely and can kind of stack them without getting them crushed. Alright, that's it for this haul. I know it's a very, very short one, but I hope you guys enjoyed this haul nonetheless. And if you did, don't forget to join the fam, subscribe, like and share, and talk to me in the comments box down below. Talk to me about anything really, like what do you like to buy on Taobao? Do you like to wear falsies? Or are you an eyelash extensions kind of person? What kind of like clothing do you like? Oh, what are your funny fails of Taobao? So you can let me know in the comments box down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah!